Hey, welcome back everybody to the Halo 4 uh, multiplayer peak play. And hey, uh, last time I was extremely over-caffeinated. Um, I'm still actually uploading the, the two videos I was uploading before. That it, 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 it literally affected how I played the game because of, uh, you know, when you're uploading videos, it cuts your bandwidth down pretty significantly. And, um, as I don't, you guys haven't really noticed, but whenever I tried to throw a grenade, it was like a two second delay, <laughs> which always messes me up because right when I want it, like the perfect time I want to actually throw it, it throws it after that perfect time. So it's like, ah, I can't stick anyone. <laughs> so I was like, okay, aim ahead of him two seconds and maybe I can get it. But, um, I kind of figured out that, you know, Whenever, whatever I'm gonna do, uh, at least multiplayer peak plays, I need to tell myself not to upload anything for for that whole entire day. So um, I'm going to have to just soldier on and keep playing games. And we're gonna go check out uh, Dominion and uh, show you why that could pretty much be my favorite uh, section. Only 8,000 people though are actually playing it, which is kind of sad in a way. Uh, one second. All right, <laughs> I accidentally had my uh, TV, uh, not TV audio, but my computer audio on, and I was hearing feedback. <laughs> so I was hearing my voice like twice. I don't know if you guys could have hear, uh, could have heard it, but um, yeah, I was hearing that. So um, let's go check out Dominion, and I'm going to end this uh, part of the peak play checking out. Uh, actually, I'm going to watch a previous, um, my first. Uh, what is it regicide game and uh, we're also going to do that at the same time checking out the theater mode and what has all changed there but um so far when I actually went to theater mode to create uh, to actually do a achievement pop uh, I actually wanted to make a video and say hey why not make a video uh, with my first time doing regicide and uh, I re like I was doing I was doing semi okay, but there are parts in that regicide game that kind of told me, no matter how bad you're doing, if you have that opportunity, like that opportunity to kill the king, you get a lot of points for that. And this is the person that has the most points, probably has the most kills, and has taken a lot of those opportunities to become king. And I would actually like to show you how I kind of won my first regicide match. And it, you can see it was so lucky. I was only five points away from being in third place. So if that puts you in any perspective, we were all tied up, and I got that last kill to get you know the win, uh, you know pretty much king. So it was very interesting. As you can see from here, you can have different poses and all that stuff. So that's actually pretty interesting. I really do like the red uh, visor. It's really nice. Where am I? Oh, I'm up here. Yep, I, st I my color scheme is white and red. It would be white and blue, but it does not look good together for some reason. Um, I am usually, uh, uh, like, my primaries would be black. My secondaries would be red. But um, there's no true black in, um, when it comes to color, which I will, I will talk about all that stuff at the last video. So, um, I will show you all the things and what I kind of miss about certain customizations and other Halo games. But, um, yeah. I think the coffee, coffee is finally wearing off now. Thank God. So, I can actually play this game a little bit, you know, out of, less out of breath. Yeah. No more drinking coffee before doing recordings. It sucks. Alright, let's uh, help this guy out. Enemy taking Bravo. Taking uh, C, Charlie. We're taking Alpha. We're taking Charlie. All right, there's a guy here. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Got him. Got him. Awesome. <laughs> so I think what you just saw there is either me completing a challenge or uh or uh completing a commendation. 
Now, they all, they both pop up the same, and we're having connection difficulties. Oh, looks like someone might have dropped out. Yeah, it looks like it's part of our team. So we are one person short. Not cool. I hate that so much. That, is, that sucks. <laughs> Live commentating, everybody. And I, uh, of course, I have no editing equipment and everything else like that. Hey, if you guys, any of you guys know. Joined. Oh, and someone else joined. So that's good. That They kind of balanced it out, hopefully. Dominion. But, um, uh, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Alpha almost fortified. Capture Defend at all costs. To win. I, I don't know if he's above me or below me or. Do I have it? Oh, come on. Lost the lead. Oh, he has a saw! Ah, I almost had C fortified. I wish I had someone help me there, though. It was not gonna happen. Especially, uh, I, I, I might have would have taken him out, but I need, I definitely need help because of my connection. So I'm gonna try and help Lou. Ah, oh, someone else hit me. Got him. Ah! It's the same guy that killed me. Ah, oh, that sucks. I should have hit him. Alright. Uh, is Alpha above us? Oh, it's resupplying. So... Whoa! What the heck will happen? Machine gun. Woo! Alright, here we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Wee! Wee! Die, man! Ah, that was a little too close for comfort. You know what? No, I'm gonna stick with a. Uh, I'm gonna stick with a ghost. There we go. Ha ha ha. Let's uh, see if we can capture... Oh man, he had a rocket launcher. That is not good. There we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I'm on red team. <laughs> Alright. So we are red. Oh crap! Oh, what? How did that kill? That... Did you guys see that? I don't think that was supposed to kill me. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to kill me. That was uh, weird. You know what? I'm not going to argue. The guy had me fair and freaking square. I'm not going to die by that guy's hands again. Screw him. Uh oh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I gonna come from? Uh, am I coming from? My oh God! <laughs> Not good. <laughs> come on, we need to. There we go. And B's getting contested. I need a rocket launcher. Resupplied health. Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Did not see him. Enemy taking Bravo. Got him. Base defense. Bull. Bull crap. Oh, what the heck? Oh, a wraith. That's not good. I like these things, though. There's like little turns that will help us out. I think they help us out. But it's actually kind of kind of interesting. 
B is looks like the hot point to get though. If you can get B, you can get anything else. Alright, back up, back up. Too many people getting crowded. Whoa, holy crap, I got stuck! That wasn't cool. It bounced off the wall and stuck me. Ah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I saw a wraith. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like that sign. A wraith is coming. Defend. Oh, got him. Oh no, what? Oh, that's bullcrap. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop throwing grenades because the lag I'm having is killing my own teammates. I better stop throwing grenades now. Not a good idea. Right, there's some other people coming by. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got him! Got him! Right. Resupply. There's a guy coming in. Where's he gonna come in from? Oh, bro! <laughs> oh, he died! That was awesome. Jumps up in midair, someone snipes him. It's like, oh, that is good. Alright, I need to get out of here. I think we pretty much secured that area. We need to capture C. Try to. So it looks like they're only anti-vehicle, I think. Yeah, it looks like they're only anti-vehicle. Got him. Long range versus short range. Who will win? I think the long range wins. Oh. Ah, he's gonna win! I can tell right off the bat when I'm gonna die. <laughs> Usually if he lands the first two shots, I know he's going to kill me. Ah, uh, no, not a ghost. Whee! Did it get him? What? Again? See, now you guys can tell I have a serious amount of lag issues. That sucks so badly. I will definitely make sure that um, when I do the oh crap. nice. Oh crap! 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 So they are anti-human. Holy crap! We're taking Bravo. Oh, no! 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 Ah crap! <laughs> Uh, I cannot believe I got lasered. Base captured, you survive. Yeah. Survive somehow. Can't see because you're in the way. Alright, we're good. It's captured. Game over. We got defeated! Ah. Oh. That sucks that we're winning. Oh well. That stinks. That stinks. And I'm down below again. Yeah, I've literally noticed that, um at least when uh when I'm doing things now, I I definitely shouldn't do anything on the computers or anything like that when I'm playing Halo. Because yeah, my bandwidth gets chewed up a lot. But I'm actually going to show you a little bit of how the you know how Halo actually plays when you're not uploading things. So let's check out Theater and uh, go on from there. I don't think I'm... Nope, not going to level up. But um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead to Theater and check out a match of me actually playing a game and uh, not fucking things up. <laughs> so here we go. Here's my uh, regicide one, and uh, check that out. A game that didn't—I actually played without.
too much, you know, too bad of a lag and all that. And I actually, I actually have a lot, you know, a lot more fun when I'm actually able to shoot things and throw grenades correctly. <laughs> so, um, you can actually see how I kind of actually play. I don't, I am not a very, I, I can definitely tell you this now. I am not the best Halo player out there and everything, uh, everything like that. I mean, sit like something like that. <laughs> Wasn't looking at my radar at all, and I die like instantly. But here is what you can see. Here you can actually take straight screenshots. Like uh, I think that started in Halo 3, we were able to take screenshots of. Uh, so if you want to take a screenshot of a certain kill, and I got scatter shot. <laughs> Not a very good idea to uh, stick with that. But you can also, if you just want to watch, uh, let's see. I can toggle the menu. So if I just want to watch something going on, I could do that. Let's see. Oh, that's that guy. Where am I? Oh, there I am. We can go to first person view, I think. I can pause it. How do we go to... Oh, uh, I didn't speed it up. And I can do all that. I'm trying to remember how you get to first person view. Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember how. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, um, overall, um, I guess I should, uh, probably tell you how I feel about, like, pretty much multiplayer in general is, is definitely what you would think multiplayer would be. Uh, I'm <laughs> trying to, trying to turn down some things. New king. Actually, I didn't do too bad in this. I was actually very surprised. Yeah, I did. I made a couple mistakes and everything, but overall, everything's pretty well balanced in multiplayer. Um, I noticed there are a certain couple weapons depending on the range. I know the scatter shot beats the uh, shotgun uh, like almost two times the amount of damage. So. But there are also uh, human weapons that are better than some of the Promethean weapons. Like I noticed, the DMR is better than the light rifle, and because um, they're they're essentially the same weapon. But there are there are different uh, weapons that you would want in long range situations or short range situations, depending on what you think. So they actually want you to use different um, just kind of different weapons in that general. Uh, well different class of weapons you know they want you to they want you to kind of use like covenant mixed with a little bit of oh and i got assassinated <laughs> that's freaking awesome but um yeah they they don't want you to just use you know the unsc weapons they want you to use a mixture of all types of weapons and um i noticed from a lot of pros they say hey um you know, you definitely mix up the type of weapons you use. Try and master all the weapons, uh, especially when it can't, comes to the new ones like the Promethean weapons. And um, I definitely agree with that because you, with new weapons, you never know. And that was a perfect stick. I love that timing. Uh, that's when that's when you know you don't have any lag is when you plan that to happen. And it's like, yes, perfect throw. And I love that so much. But, um, yeah, I love the controls of it. Everything feels nice and tight. And, uh, different modes, they have different pacing. Uh, I know with, uh, the Team Infinity Pro, or Pro Infinity, um, that increases the speed of how, like, fast you run and how fast you can, well, you can always change of how fast you can turn and all that. But that is a more fast pace. Uh, more of a fast paced thing. That's what a lot of MLG players actually helped on when it came to um, pretty much deciding on a certain, like how MLG matches go out. They want it a lot faster pace when it comes to movement and that's when, that's where that whole thing comes from is Team, uh, Team Pro Slayer I think it's called. And I haven't really 
tested it out just yet, but I know it's supposed to move about as fast as um, almost like a Unreal Tournament style, or more closely to a Unreal Tournament feel. Is that you know it, you're you're kind you're you're moving as fast to where at the point to where it almost feels like you're kind of floating on air, and not in a bad way. Everything still feels a little you know as heavy as it should be, but you're being able to run two times faster than normal, which is a nice feeling at times, because if you want a fast-paced game, either, you want, either you're going to play something like this, Regicide, or you're going to play, uh, you can either play a SWAT, but usually when I play a SWAT, I'm always very uh, careful. I usually try not to move as fast as possible. Oh, and stuck into, but look, look, I stuck him. And it didn't even blow up. So you have those issues, yeah, you know, when it comes to bugs in multiplayer and in single player. Uh, there are bugs that can kind of carry over from the past games. Uh, sticking people sometimes doesn't even work. <laughs> or um, when you get, like, uh, the recommended amount of headshots with a DMR, sometimes you don't get that recommenda uh, recommended amount of headshots, depending on... Because it is an online game, and... A, you know, lag is always an issue, but you always have to fight through it. Although I've been complaining about lag for the past two things now, I do, I do, uh, kind of tell myself saying, well, when there is lag, you have to work with it. And, um, I notice with a large amount of matches that I do, I always try and work my best to try and uh, adapt with that. And I know there's a lot of people that are in the MLG leagues, uh, pro leagues and all that, that have to actually work on that on a day-to-day -day basis. So if there's a game out there that you always want to be better at and everything, you... <laughs> oh, and that was perfect, too. That was awesome. I love that. And, yeah, I got the king. But, yeah, I've always kind of told myself, although... I and everyone else kind of complains about lag. It's kind of just a normal thing now. We've been dealing with lag since the PC days of matchmaking and everything. And, um, you know, the better, the less you're, you're doing, the better you can be. And, um, that's just kind of how I feel. It's like, as long as I'm enjoying at least the online matches, then I can feel good. But if I really want to be competitive and get a true thing out there, and that guy almost stuck me. He was so close to killing me. And then I ran out of, like, sticky grenades, and he killed me. I thought I had a sticky grenade where I could just stick him. Kind of repay the favor. <laughs> but nope. And, um... Yeah, if I ever really want to be truly competitive, I think the best way to do it is land parties. You, you know, there's no complaints, there's no, uh, like I give, I, I always, I always kind of complain when I can't get, like, the perfect shot. Because usually, you know, just things happen, it sucks. And, yeah, I, as I said, I'm not the perfect, I'm not the best when it comes to multiplayer. I, myself, am not a competitive multiplayer person. I like to actually, my favorite modes are cooperative. I can see myself playing a lot of um, the, I forgot what you call the uh, mode that you call it from. I think it's the episodic content, uh, Spartan Ops. And yay, I got king. And I'm the king. <laughs> right at the end, I became the king. And I was like, yes, I won. Very, very small. I, I should have probably saved it to where they uh, showed the scores and all that. But I was just like five points away from everyone. Like, to other people. They could have won King, but I I took that kill. I was like, yes, it's mine. And uh, took about three headshots to kill the guy, and I got him. But, um, yeah, just everything just feels nice and tight, and I, I really like that. It's definitely a well-polished multiplayer experience when it comes to the war games and also with Spartan Ops. I haven't played any multiplayer with Spartan Ops, but um, I played like when you're playing it by yourself because that is a thing that they you can do when and there's also an achievement based off uh, doing Spartan Ops by yourself. You um, it's actually really nice. So if there are no friends online and you wanted to do like your your weeklies for Spartan Ops or your monthlies, um, work on that. 
they allow they give you the chance to work on it by yourself and that's always a nice thing because of course in order to play Spartan Ops you need Xbox Live Gold if you don't have Xbox Live Gold then you cannot play Spartan Ops which is I, I, I think is a problem because if they allow you to play it by yourself then you should be able to play it offline as well I don't know I mean or if you have a silver account because usually most people have internet connections that have uh, Xbox Live not everyone but most people and um, why not allow the at least the silver account people to play a little bit of Spartan Ops, it's especially if you give them the chance to play it, play it by themselves? Which I, I don't I don't get that logic. But that was pretty much you're able to create your own films. Um, the theater mode, it pretty much uh, plays the same as all the other. Um, works just the same way. You have your you know your stop. You can mimic. Uh, you can pretty much change the uh, camera angles. You can do free camera and everything like that. So you can make your machinimas as easy as possible. I think they also made a little bit more tweaks to where recording and doing cuts and everything is actually a lot more streamlined. So creating machinimas and just doing uh, pre pre uh, commentary like I was just doing right there, it makes it a little bit more uh, simple simplified than just you know helps everyone out so and this also uh, helps the people be able to record halo videos um, that the people that don't actually have the equipment that I don't have so it's actually really nice to see that kind of go into play but um, I will end this video and I will be wrapping up this uh, pretty much the halo um, multiplayer peak play with uh, some Spartan Ops and a little bit of uh, the customization stuff and talk about that and then wrap it up with my overall feelings of how I think about what I think about multiplayer and is it worth the uh, pretty much 60 bucks that you will be paying right now as of this video records <laughs> so uh, I will see you guys next time enjoy yourself